Your estimated wait time is 126 to 128 minutes. There are 122 callers ahead of you in the queue. If you would like to hold your place in line. Hey friends, last week I showed you how easy it is to mount a trolling motor to a canoe and how much fun you can have once you get that done. But what I didn't realize is that now that makes it a motorized vehicle which has to be registered with the state. And if it's a used canoe like mine, that's not so easy. As easy as it is to put the trolling motor on, it's a lot tougher to get one of these. The problem is, in order to register your canoe or kayak with the state, you have to have a certificate of origin. And if you didn't buy brand new, you probably don't have that anymore. So I'm going to show you what I ended up doing to get a certificate of origin for a used canoe. Yesterday. Okay, today I'm going to take this canoe and try to get it registered as a motorized vehicle. Wish me luck. Okay, about to go in. The problem is, I don't have a bill of sale for any of my canoes because I bought them all used from Marketplace or other sources. Stumped her. Okay. That's a state question now. Okay. Wow, stumped the DMV. Yes. <laughs> well, when, I know what to do. If you have yeah. a bill of sale or a certificate of yeah, origin, yeah. but since you bought it second out hand, of, yeah, yeah, out of it, normal, normal. <laughs> yeah, um, like you don't register the trolling motor itself, right? No, just the the canoe just itself. The, which the canoe, you know, yeah. my opinion. Is I know. Well, I've got you know, and I've, I can prove that I, right. I bought it. Yeah. In here, what you know? What? Well, they should tell you what you need to do, and then you come back in and we can get. Okay, time. I appreciate you. Okay. Well, that went swimmingly. I stumped them, and they sent me this number. I got to call the state right now, so I'm going to call the state, and I'll get back with you. If you are calling regarding a title, press one. If you are calling abandoned vehicle, no violence. Press three. Determine your estimated wait time is one hundred twenty-six. To 128 minutes. There are 122 callers ahead of you in the queue. If you would like to hold your place in line and have us call you back. Okay, so we're not going to do that. <sighs> okay. 100 people ahead of me in line. So I'm going to try to figure it out without talking to these people. The first thing I did is go back through Facebook Marketplace and contact one of my sellers asking if he would send me an email with a short bill of sale. He agreed to. Then I took a photograph of my serial number of my canoe and went to the Old Town website where I found a great article on registering your kayak or canoe. In that article is a link to get a new manufacturer's statement of origin, which I downloaded. Then I registered the serial number of my canoe right on their website, and I called the 1-800 number just to make sure I was doing the right thing. Register this, you know, so I can put my trolling motor on it. Right. So um, you absolutely can use that, you know, for older boats as well. Um, that is what we send with, you know, every canoe and kayak we make. Uh -huh. um, you know, where it says a fixed label here, you would just hand write in the, the serial number in that area. Or, you know, if you had a, you know, a canoe that you have had for years, you don't have any of the original paperwork, you know, it's fully paid for. Right. You would just fill out that top section. Um, you know, if you know roughly when you purchased it, you know, from the, the person you did, yeah. um, you could use that date, the invoice number, we never fill that information out. Okay. Um, if, well, you know, if you have a receipt number from a store, you can, you know, we tell people that they can use that, but it's not necessary. Okay. I appreciate you. You've been the most helpful of anybody I've talked to. Absolutely. And if you have any other questions, you'll absolutely let us know and we'll, you know, see if there's anything else, 
you know, we can do to help. Okay, I appreciate you. All right, well, thank you for calling. You have a great day. You as well. So Old Town was very helpful. Their website even has links to each state's individual laws. So I printed off the manufacturer's statement of origin, just like she said, and filled it out. Then I filled out the Form 93, which is the standard title and registration for a boat. All right, I just got out of there. Uh, she said, all I need is to make sure my 22 and 23 taxes were paid up. So I went into the collector's office and paid $6, and I should be good. Let's go over to the DMV and try this. Okay, walking back into the DMV, second day in a row. I still feel nervous because I think they're going to say something about not having a title. That's the only thing that's not in all of my paperwork, but we'll see. So to recap everything I brought with me, I have the manufacturer's statement of origin from Old Town. I have the Form 93 title and registration application. I have two years showing that I paid my personal property taxes, a photograph of the serial number on my boat, and a photograph of the email that Old Town sent me when I registered my canoe with their website. All of this plus a copy of the bill of sale that the guy emailed me. And that's it. Victory, baby. We got it. Three years. We did it. Woo! Woo! I'd like to give a special shout out to Old Town Canoes. They really made the process simpler. If you have a different brand of canoe or kayak, my best bet would be to check and find an online version of the owner's manual. Go to the last page. That's usually where the certificate can be found. Good luck. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope that some of this information helped you. Be sure and watch this video right here next because I know you like float trips and we'll catch you clowns on the rebound.